Welcome back to the Dutch and Denver podcast. I am Dutch, I am in Denver, and uh, this is my podcast. Um, man, hectic week. I know we've been here and there with streaming and um, podcasts and stuff. I'm just busy. Other stuff to do. Streaming hasn't been as prevalent just because I'm, I'm super burned out on the current selection of games they are awful call of duty is so bad vanguard looks really bad too um so yeah not interested eso not interested been tired uh clearly i'll get back into that but no so we haven't been streaming games podcast hit or miss i've been busy i've been, I've been building a shed and i mean a shed like a big one. Not like your little one where you just put your little lawnmower in. This is like a single car garage. And I've been doing it myself. The other day I was out there. Was it Sunday or Monday? So I'm putting up the trusses. Which I made myself. Figured them out all myself. Did all the math. Speed square. If you don't know how to use a speed square and you're a man. You're not a man. You're a woman. And not even one of the good ones. Some of their, you know, I'm nailing trusses down. And my shirt just starts, like, burning in all these places. Like, on my arm and stuff. Like, you can still see one. But the red dot right there. There's a wasp in my shirt who is just, like, going to town. This little fucker stung me, like, ten times. You know, I got my bags on and I got the backpack straps because I don't want to, you know, my pants falling down and shit and they're buckled and my shirt's tucked in because I all a mess. So I'm like ripping this stuff off and this little fucker's just like, nah, 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 nah. that's how my weekend went. Shit's looking good though. It is. It's it's real nice. Uh, I should have the gutters on tomorrow. Um, I'll paint it Thursday. And then Thursday we'll paint and dry it in. Hopefully Friday shingles and then done. It's awesome. We put John Deere's in there. We put the windsurfing stuff. It, it'll be nice. Okay, don't worry. But that's what I've been doing. I'm just I'm tired. It's been hot here, which I love. But, I mean, manual labor, heat, 30 beers a day. You're tired at like 6.30. You just want to eat and go to bed. But I have some energy tonight, so we'll see how this goes. This might be a five-minute podcast. It might be an hour like normal. We'll just see. Uh, I do have some things. And... I've, I've talked to people about this. Like, hey, man, I don't want this podcast to be all about po politics. But like I said in the past... Politics have just jammed their dick into everything. Like, there's nothing that is free of politics these days. And it's a bummer, but I'm going to try and lighten it up a little college football. But I'm not happy about what we have to talk about. <laughs> I just wish there was a good thing. And I was like, hey, man. I mean, the good thing, Shed. I'm building the Shed. Love it. Nice to get back. Um, But then... Like I said, upcoming in a week or so, I'm going to have another surgery. So we'll be more constant on the gaming. And the podcast. I don't know if I can make it over to the bed, uh, from the bed to the, the studio. But, yeah, you know, I'll try. So it'll be much more available. We're waiting on Phil. I mean, Phil should have all his Xbox stuff together. We'll see. Uh, okay, so <laughs> I guess we have to start out with this. Joe Rogan, you guys know who he is, right? Uh, I guess he got COVID. And, um, he, I don't know if he's vaccinated or not, but I'm pretty sure he's not, because I think he's anti-vax. And again, you can't call people who aren't going to get the COVID vax anti-vax. Because, like, I'm sure, um, 
Rogan has like the polio vaccine and all that shit from when he was a kid. Because those are actual vaccines. This is a political stunt. Okay, so let's just assume he doesn't. And he gets COVID. And um, I guess he did some non-traditional treatments. Uh, he beat it. He's back in the gym. I guess there's him kettlebells on Instagram. He's back to his podcast. It, everything's fine with Joe, health wise. What's not fine are the lies and the propaganda surrounding this from literally both fucking sides. And this is what. Uh, I loved this podcast when it started. I loved gaming when it started. I don't love it anymore. Because I am so unbelievably fucking tired of this COVID bullshit. Let's be clear about a couple things. A, it is not as dangerous as everyone says it is. So take your fucking mask off, you idiot. You're not better than me because you wear a mask. You're dumber than I am. If you want to get vaccinated, fine. If I want to get vaccinated, fine. If I do or don't or you do or don't, fine. Nobody fucking cares. Literally nobody. Well, no. All the wackos do, but it, it doesn't fucking matter. It's not a big deal. Calm the fuck down. Okay. I'm I'm done. I I cannot do this anymore. I do not care about your mask. I do not care about the vaccine. I do not care anymore. I'm not doing it. I'm moving on. But we are going to talk about it. So um, Rogan got COVID, and um, he took ivermectin with some other things. He's fine now. Don't worry. This is also something we should be clear about. Ivermectin may be a horse dewormer. It is also a drug that we have used for 50 years to treat a multitude of other things in humans. This is not like a new thing that people are just rushing out and buying horse dewormer to fuck with themselves. You understand that, right? This is a proven medicine for a long fucking time. And the liberals, and this is only the liberals, okay, are picking on this and be like, well, it's horse dewormer. Yep. It's also like 5,000 other things. But you don't want to focus on that because you just want to push your agenda. And that's what I'm done with. I don't care about your agenda. I don't believe you. You've lied so much. And yes, the Republicans lie too. But the Republicans didn't shut down the whole fucking world. The Republicans didn't fuck Afghanistan into six ways from nowhere. I don't care anymore. I honestly, at this point, like, I, I've never understood how people could be like, you're a Trump supporter, we can't be friends anymore. It's like, that's fucking crazy to me. I'm starting to get it. Because you're so delusional about this COVID crap. But yeah. If you believe half the shit, we I can't be friends with you anymore. Actually, no, we can still be friends. I just, I can never talk to you. You're obviously retarded and I can't help you. Okay, so Joe Rogan took ivermectin, which has been a human drug for like 50 years. Okay. It cured him or it helped cure him of COVID. Then the left jumps in and starts destroying Joe Rogan, overtaking, quote, horse dewormer. But again, it most drugs do multiple things. Okay. Like a lot of nerve medication that I was on because of the. Uh, Achilles thing was for like depression and psychosis, but that's a nerve thing and blah blah blah. 
Yeah, uh, they have multiple uses, dipshit. It's like fucking Tylenol, man. If your back hurts, you take Tylenol. If you have a headache, you take Tylenol. Two different parts of the body. Same result. Ibuprofen. If your back hurts, take ibuprofen. If something's swollen, you take ibuprofen because it also relieves pain and is an anti-inflammatory, so it brings the swelling down. And it might reduce a fever, just like fucking Tylenol. Okay, these are multiple-use drugs. Stop fucking lying to people. Like, uh, I don't know who did the story, but somebody posted that Oklahoma, I think it's Oklahoma, hospitals are overrun because um, a bunch of people took ivermectin and they've overdosed and now they're dying. And that was proven to be absolutely not true. That's just a bold-faced fucking lie. And... Twitter took it upon themselves to do nothing. Just keep that shit up. It, don't label it. Don't do anything. Just let it be. Uh, Rolling Stone <laughs> wrote an article about it. Rolling fucking Stone. If you get any of your news from Rolling Stone other than like about your favorite band or your favorite reality show or what's in style this season, you're a fucking moron. They're not a news media outlet. I mean, nobody is anymore. We're gonna we're gonna do something special tonight. We're gonna do CNN versus Fox, and we're gonna shit on both of them. But yeah, Rolling Stone runs this stuff. People, bunch of tweets and nothing. Nothing's labeled as false information. So again, I guess only the right lies. And when the left does, yeah, well, you know, let's leave it out there because it furthers our crazy fucking agenda. Just I'm I'm so done. If I could hit people, I would. But then you go to jail. Ah, it's a mess. Actually, you don't go to jail. You'll be out on bond in a couple hours. You go hit more people or kill more people. Um. Uh, okay. So and yeah, Twitter still just leaves it up. I mean, President Trump still banned the guy who runs the Taliban, who's you know a reasonable feller. He's still tweeting and all that shit. But <laughs> the rest of it, nah. Let's not talk about that. Uh, it's like, for instance, just switching up a little here. So there's some, like, Weld County uh, lady who's running for some shit, or I don't know. She's heading up a huge bond bill to build more schools or something. I, I don't know. I don't give a shit. Uh, but she got in a fight with someone on social media. I think it was Facebook. Okay. And through the course of this fight, eventually she just said, you know, called the woman a chihuahua and asked her if she was legally here. Now the woman happened to be of Latin American descent, so this lady is now fucked. She later, she later clarified and said, hey, I, I called her a chihuahua because, you know, she yaps like one, which yeah, I get. It's just unfortunate the lady was a Mexican or Afri or Latin American descent. It doesn't matter. But you can't be that stupid these days. You have to understand, like, no matter what you say, someone's going to hold it against you. And I'm okay with that because I don't fucking care. And I'm not running for public office. And if I ever ran for public office and someone came up to me and said, Hey, man, 10 years ago, you said this about whoever. I'd be like, yeah, I did. And I fucking meant it. And if you don't want to elect me over that, then fine. I I don't need to be in office. But yeah, A, if you argue on social media, you're a special kind of stupid. If you um say things like that and don't expect them to be thrown back in your face, you're a special kind of stupid. I mean, you're going to get canceled. That's just the world we live in and now. It's unfortunate, but that's the way that it fucking works. Okay. So that's a small, minor thing. And she asked if she was legal or not. I I mean, at this point, that's, <laughs> who cares? But that brings me to... Oh, and this woman's getting crucified, by the way. 
like beyond fucking belief. But that brings me to my Candace Owens update. Like we talked about this, remember she was in Aspen and I didn't know why she was getting a COVID test. I now know. She had to go to like some event that required her to get it. So she got it. And or she tried to get it. And she went to a very prestigious place that apparently does tests for people who are much more popular than she is. I don't know. Okay, so like I said, Candace Owens was in, and she's the right wing lady who, I don't know, she pushes buttons. Okay. And she wanted a COVID test, and the person found out that she was who she was and rejected her and said, I don't agree with your politics, so I'm not going to give you a COVID test. Fucking fine. Well, obviously, Cannon Owens posted this email and shit hit the fan. Now things are really hitting the fan. And we'll talk about my point in a minute. But just to update the story. So uh, Candace, you know, posted the uh, the email. And, you know, people are flipping out. Well, the co-owner, so the lady who sent the email, is not a sole proprietor. And it seems like her other business partners are kind of pissed off about this which you know i would be too um she was in an interview and she kept calling her like a marginal celebrity who fucking cares <laughs> you know i i mean i think she got three or four or five million followers on instagram i mean i think that's a lot i don't know i've got none i mean maybe some i have an instagram i don't use it who cares but yeah i mean and she was defending herself for a while. And then she backs it up and it's like, wait a minute. I never thought this was going to go public. All right. So a couple things here. If you Google the celebrity. And then you send him an email to refuse service. And you don't think that's going to go public. You're fucking stupid. Which, I mean, people who do what this person did. Her last name's Lee, I think. Like Sandra Lee, Sandy Lee, who fucking cares? You're fucking stupid, and clearly this person's stupid. Also, her, uh, her like, company creed or whatever, the hiring and the practicing is like, we will never reject anyone on race, creed, sexuality, politics. Oh, that's absolutely not true. You did reject someone based upon their politics. You're a piece of shit. And for you to think that your email that you sent to a popular person wasn't going to go viral means you're stupid. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, just moving on. You know, that's what we do these days. But then it gets even more interesting. I guess uh, Candace Owens signed up with her married name. So, like, if you guys know her... her her social media name is Candace Owens and her public figure, but her her married legal name is probably something different. It is actually, and I didn't even know this. Um so if you sign up for that one, you literally had to Google it. So don't lie to us and say you didn't. Okay. Um and then let's move a little bit further. If you guys don't know, Candace Owens is black. I'm pretty sure Lee is white. So, if the shoe was on the other foot, for instance, if it was a black liberal and a white conservative, that person would be dragged through the streets, tarred and feathered, and their whole fucking life would be absolutely ruined. Their company would be destroyed. It would all be over for them. They would be in a world of hell that no person could thought they would ever be in. But since Candace is a black conservative woman, we're just not going to worry about it. And that's what I'm talking about. Like, cancel culture, you know, the, the Weld County lady, she's fucked. She's dumb. Um, I'm not sure there's any way she can come back. Uh, and all the other conservatives that have been canceled, you're fucking done. Now, if you're a liberal and you do something stupid, that's okay. That's just par for the course. That's literally, yeah, it's par for the course. That's what you do is dumb shit and you have no repercussions for it. 
whatsoever. But if I was Candace Owens, I'd be nailing these people to the wall. I'd be having all kinds of like racial lawsuits and stuff just to give them a taste of their own medicine. No, you wouldn't, Dutch, because you're not a dipshit. Yeah, you're right, I wouldn't. It's just, I mean, it's funny how these things work, you know? Like, the double standards. And again, if you can't see it, it's because you're stupid. And I know a lot of people are stupid. It's just, ah, it's such a bummer. I, I, you know... I, it, yeah, bummer. Horrible bummer. Um... I don't know. What else is there? You know, like I said, I mean, Biden has completely fucked up Afghanistan and murdered 13 of our troops, left a bunch of people behind, and fucked this up on a scale beyond absolute belief, and most people have no idea about it. Which we'll, you know, we'll get into that in a little bit, because like I said, we are going to do Fox for CNN. Uh, but first, let's lighten up a little bit. Let's just slow it down. We'll talk about stuff I want to talk about. College football. College football started uh, last weekend, like officially. I'm sure there were other games played and stuff like that. But, uh, okay, let's start with the Buffs. Colorado, I like the Buffs. I don't care about other Colorado teams. I like the Buffs. The Buffs are playing um, UNC, which is the University of Northern Colorado. That's Greeley. That's not even CSU. CSU is like D2. This is like D6. These guys are the big sky tournament, okay, or conference. I don't even, never even heard of that. And the Buffs are in the pack fucking 12, who just aligned with the ACC and the big fucking 10. I mean, this is big time football for the Buffs. Playing basically what amounts to a high school team. Vegas and all these guys have them favored by like 38, uh, 37, 38, 39 points. Okay. Huge blowout expected. Again, you're at home, first game of the season. Uh, UNC didn't play at all. Their whole season was canceled last year. Okay? They're a high school team. They're a glorified high school team. The Buffs are a, a Pac-12 team. Oh, it was such a bad game. The Buffs are going to suck ass this year. I'm not sure. They won the game. Okay, but they did not cover, not even close. It was like 35 to 7. So, you know, 20, they were, you know, 10 points shy of covering. That's a really big gap in gambling and shit like that. Not a great showing. Uh, okay, so they ran the ball a lot. Um, had some really good runs. Not in college football. Nobody runs a ball in college football unless you're Wisconsin. Okay? I'm not sure their quarterback can throw. And that really worries me because the Pac-12, they throw. I mean, there are teams in the Pac-12 that can go 100 yards in two fucking plays. One play. You're going to get destroyed. To let a high school team score at least seven points on you? Not it. It was, it was really bad. Like, the play calling, I thought bad runs. I thought bad throws. Just, it was really bad. Now, they play Texas A&M next week. This week. Tuesday, yeah, this weekend. Uh, I think they're 70-point underdogs. I'd put them at 30 points. The way they played on uh, Friday night. They just, and like you had UCLA go to LSU or LSU come, it didn't matter. A ranked LSU team got stomped. And I don't care what you watched. They got stomped by an unranked, yeah, a ranked LSU team got stomped by an unranked UCLA team. The Buffs have no shot. They, they'll probably lose every game from here on. They might play Minnesota. But if you watch the Minnesota-Ohio State game, 
Minnesota gave Ohio State all they wanted. Again, though, Ohio State's incredibly overrated. All these teams are incredibly overrated. It's just that the college football playoff and all that crap, it's taken a bunch of overrated teams and make them play each other so they look good, and they're not. Like, Clemson lost to Georgia in a dogfight, but they lost. To Georgia. Georgia's not a top five team. I think mean, Bama will probably come out like always. Um, who else? Clemson, they're done. Notre Dame, useless. Ohio State, yeah. I mean, who who do we have? I'm just the rating system's awful, but the Pac-12 is what I care about, and the point of this was the Buffs are fucking awful, unbelievably terrible. Uh, it's cool to see Eddie Mac coach. He Ed McCaffrey, he's a Bronco. He coaches at UNC. Uh, he does color his hair, though. God damn, he still has the brownest hair in the world, and his face is not that young. But there's an inter- sto- interesting storyline, because uh, Carl Durrell, who is the head coach of the Buffs, was the wide receiver coach for the Broncos when Eddie Mack played for the Broncos. So there were some personal ties there, and I think there's Chevrini and all those guys. They all know each other. And people are like, ah, oh, Darrell won't stomp on him. I think Darrell was doing everything. He was pissed. And I was I was happy to see that. Now, this is only his second year, and we had a short season last year. But if when they showed him on the sidelines, he visibly looked angry, which deservedly so. The Bucks looked fucking terrible. Okay. Now, if that's just his look then not as much credit. But if he was genuinely pissed at the performance, much credit to him. Let's see how they look at uh, A&M against A&M this week. But yeah, I mean, it's nice to have college football back again. You know, we don't watch the NFL because I don't care. I'm I'm not going to listen to a bunch of overprivileged morons tell me about politics. Okay, and kneel for the flag. Because again, if you really knew why we played the national anthem at sporting events, you would no, you probably wouldn't stand up because you're still a dipshit. But you should Google that. If you guys listen to this, Google it and find out. It's a great story of why we play the national anthem at sporting events. Okay? I think it started in World War One, so that'll give you a little hint. Um, but that's now you know why, and for you to kneel during that fuck off. And for the Broncos to go to a Black Lives Matter rally, you fuck off. I'm done with you. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, that's so. I'm on, you know, the Twitter. And somebody wrote like, you know, college football is better than pro football, and other people responded, blah blah. blah. Right, let's be clear about something. College football is better than pro football. Okay. It's more exciting. Uh, sometimes kids have things to play for and stuff like that. Pro football now is for pussies. And actually, so it's college. So we'll talk about that too. But I, I'd rather watch college any day of the week than the NFL. And I can watch college games about teams I don't give a fuck about. And it's still fun for me to watch. Now, I might be different. Someone else might think something else. You're wrong, but that's fine. That's your prerogative. Okay. The NFL, however, is not a better product. And the reasoning for the particular response that caught my eye, and then I, you know, dove deep, was like the skill, the pageantry, the, the pageantry? That's what draws you to the NFL? Shut up, nerd. <laughs> Come on. The pageantry? You like the cheerleaders and the halftime show and the jerseys and. How they paint the field. Yeah, you don't know football. You're a moron. But then that brings me to... I can't remember which game it was. I want to say it was the Notre Dame game. The Louisville game last night. They had like five targeting calls in the first half. That's too many. Um... I know it's about player safety, okay? 
I do not, however, agree with it at all. Because you're leaving it all up to the discretion of some little bitch who's a referee. And I do, no, I don't agree with a targeting call in football. Just like I don't agree with a taunting call. Oh, okay. So yeah, in the Buffs game, and we're gonna, I'm gonna bounce around. Pay attention. So in the Buffs game, um, one of the Buffs intercepted the football in the end zone and proceeded to run it back. And his defensive friends followed him. Okay? He may or may not have been down in the end zone. His knee might have touched whatever. But he, he ran it back for good measure. Um, He, as well as the f- three, four, five, six, whatever players who ran down there with him, all got unsportsmanlike conduct penalties. All of them. There's like five on that play. In one of the other games, and again, I can't remember specifically which one. I should have wrote this down, but it might have been Clemson. It might have been Notre Dame. Kind of the same play happened, except like there was a fumble, and the guy picked it up and ran it back, and his friends went with him. And it turned out that the ball came back. Now, those announcers were like, that's that's just smart play. That's just what you do. You're not sure, so you run it back. Because if the call's in your favor, you get a touchdown. If it's not, it just comes back, and you're back on defense. That's a really, really smart play on that guy's behalf. But when the buffs do it, it's taunting. Exact same fucking play. And that's the problem with college. That's the problem with sports in general, is that too much of this is left up to uh, some nerd. And it's not even like these are 15 yard these are big penalties, okay? Like in in football in football big penalties. In baseball the umpires are usually right in baseball. So we're not going to get into that. But in football the rules are so complicated and so fucking stupid and so like arbitrary you know it's like well do you think it was targeting yeah okay then it was targeting same play different ref do you think it was targeting no okay then it wasn't targeting that's stupid also it's football it is a tough game you're going to get hurt you're gonna get hit hard here's your 20 million shut up nerd yeah, but it's about safety, Dutch. Fine, you want it to be about safety? Here's my solution. And I don't know if I've told you guys this before, but I'm going to say it again. Take their helmets away. Rugby doesn't have any helmets. And <laughs> those guys, I don't care what you say, a rugby player or Australian football, which I'm going to count those as the same for this argument, are a thousand times tougher than any NFL player. Those motherfuckers are mean. But nobody's leaving with their heads spearing like a pussy. That, they just don't. Because they're not idiots. And people in the NFL are stupid. I'm sorry to say that, but you're, most of them are morons. Quarterbacks, not so much. Like Peyton Manning's not stupid. Things like that. But, you know, Plexico Burr is the wide receiver that shot himself in the ass like three times. Three different times. Not like pow, pow, like... Okay, one time I shot myself in the ass at a strip club, and then I got in trouble, and I did it again a month or two or a year or two later. And I got in trouble, and I did it again. You're stupid. So you you guys are not known for your smarts. You guys beat your wives. You get DYs. I mean, if you make that much money, again, if you were a professional athlete, couple rules here do not drive your own car have someone else do it for you you'll never get a dui that's number one these aren't that's a these are all equally important b do not hold your own drugs dipshit make somebody else do it c do not hold your own gun 
make somebody else do it. I mean, you're a multimillionaire. Do not drive a car. Do not hold your own drugs. And do not hold your own gun. Make somebody else do that for you. Because trust me, when you want to go into the bathroom and do some drugs, they'll be there with you, okay? And you can avoid all these dumb shit things. Do not hit your wife. Now, I'm not saying ever hit a woman. And you never should. There's no reason to. Whatever. But if you're stupid enough to do it, at least be smart enough to have somebody else do it for you. God. Again, if you're going to rob a bank and you're an NFL player, do not rob the bank. Make someone else do it and just take the money from them. It amazes me how fucking stupid you people are, but you're so goddamn worried about players' safety. Trust me, a couple knocks in the head isn't going to do anything that detrimental to these idiots. So make a rule and do not make it subjective like the umpire can just be like, well, yeah, I think so today. And, you know, this team's ahead, so let's use it to the advantage. No, man. That's why no one wants to watch this shit anymore. You have these idiots protesting, and then nobody knows the fucking rules. Like, I know football pretty well. I like to think I do. I've played it um, at a very high level. I don't know the rules these days. I don't know what's incomplete or not. I don't know what a tackle is or not. I, I have no clue. Apparently can't hit a quarterback unless this, this, and this. But if this, this, that, it, no, fuck off. It's literally turning into sarcastic ball, and I, <laughs> ah, it's bad. Okay, so for the last part here, what we're going to do, and this is going to prove a broader point, okay? I'm going to open up the page to Fox News, and I'm also going to open up the page to CNN, okay? I'm going to go to foxnews.com. And I'm going to go to CNN.com. Okay? And I'm going to read the headlines. And we're just going to discuss a little bit like the... And I could be wrong about this, but I don't think I am. The sheer and utter difference in the headlines. And now you're going to be like, well, Dutch, you search for different things. And they use... Nope. I'm on a different account. I'm on a brand new account. Never gone to these websites before. I'm on DuckDuckGo. And I'm in incognito mode. Okay, so it's not influenced by my search history. This is the website as it is to a brand new user. So let's start with Fox News. Okay. And their, their headline. I'm, I'm going to say headline based upon what's first. And what is... In the biggest letters. We're going to do this simple like children. Okay. So on Fox News. It has a picture of a black guy. In an orange chef suit. Next to Kamala Harris. Hackling like the Joker. And it's his VP backed effort. To free. Alleged domestic violence abuser. And now he's charged. In grisly murder. Um. This is not a made-up story. Kamala Harris had a fund when she was in California to bail people out. And one of the persons that was bailed out, he was a, allegedly a domestic abuser. He beat his wife or boyfriend. I don't know. He doesn't, probably girlfriend, but it doesn't matter. Um, And since we don't want people in jail anymore, Kamala put a fund together to bail these people out. So this guy got bailed out under this fund and then he went out and uh, allegedly murdered some people. That's the head that's the the main headline. Okay? So if we pop over to CNN and if you guys don't believe this, I mean do we want to do like a a screen share? We could probably do that. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, okay. So, here we go. 
this is uh just so you know i'm not lying this is the fox news and here it is just as i described it okay and now we pop over to cnn and let's go with the biggest letters and their headline is two popular getaways added to cdc's very high travel risk list so and then the caption it's a picture of a random fucking island and the caption is two tropical islands are now among the highest risk destinations for COVID-19 CDC says now if you look at the CNN page everything else is minor except the Britney Spears father petitions to end her conservatorship Okay, and then inside a twisty plot to lure Russian fighters into a trap. I'm so glad CNN is worried about the Russians. And if we pop back over to Fox News here, okay, um, we have, I guess, number two would be Biden fires back at protesters who heckled him about the Afghan crisis. Okay, I'm not sure if that happened or not, but we could read about it and find out. But that's current events, not... Britney fucking Spears. Um, the highly contagious virus found in a military base as thousands of refu refugees enter the U.S. That's Fox News again. I don't see... Huh. Nope, none of that on CNN. CNN's on about the Texas abortion law, which... I'm not going to get into that tonight. That's not good, bad, or indifferent. Um, from where I stand, because I don't live in fucking Texas, and it doesn't apply to me, so don't fucking worry about it. Unless you live in Texas, and then we can discuss that. Okay, let's go down. Um, 13 Miami-Dade school employees have, test have died of COVID-19 since mid-August. Well, that's not good. Uh, children make up the COVID cases. COVID, 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 COVID. So CNN is really pushing COVID. Uh, let's see where COVID falls on Fox News. I do not see it anywhere. Uh, yeah, it's, it's nowhere. I'm sure it's buried somewhere, okay? Because Fox News hates Americans and wants them all to die. But apparently, so does CNN. They just want you to die of fear. Uh, Liz Uzi Vert says fans ripped $24 million diamond out of his forehead. That's important to CNN. Uh, how to treat the unvac? Yeah, a lot of COVID stuff. Okay, now the point I'm making in all of this is that uh, let's go back to just me. So the point I'm making is the reason that we are so divided is because. The two sides, and I know there's more sides, but let's just say conservative, liberal, Democrat, Republican, whatever. We're being fed two entirely different streams of information. I mean, literally, the conservatives are saying the sky is purple, and the liberals are saying the sky is green. Neither one of them are fucking right, but they have two incredibly different stories to tell. And now you have to ask yourself, are, are, is this news anymore? Like, are these news media outlets? Or is this just propaganda? And I, I believe they both are. Um, I can... Let's do this just for fun. Okay? Um, and I'm not going to show you this unless... 
I can. Okay. Uh, this actually might be important. Okay. So the other liberal ones we're not going to go to, but just for a quick second, I'm on Newsmax. Their headline is leaked email shows state state department obstruction of Afghan rescues. Okay. I see a little bit of a common theme here. Afghan, the rights on there, and that makes sense because that's a huge fuck up by Biden. So yeah, I'd hammer that home. Um let's see, what else could what's another liberal one? Like um MSN? Absolutely, they're nuts. Uh their first thing on like the home page is the deputy mayor of New York, hold on, faces charges after federal court authorities found him with dozens of unregistered guns and bogus FBI something. Uh, let's see. India solves the mystery of fever outbreak, claiming lives in the South. And, uh, Ethel Kennedy, don't care. Uh, Afghan's new interior minister heads up U.S. designated terror group and has a $10 million U.S. bounty on his head. Okay, there's some Afghan stuff. Um, police, blah, it doesn't matter. Let's see, Washington Post. Garbage. NFL player, yeah, so... It's, the point I'm making is, like, we are getting too entirely... And I'm not even talking, like, the same story, just spun differently. If you're on the left... They're feeding you COVID crap until you choke. And if you're on the right, you're getting Afghanistan crap until you choke. No one is impartial anymore. No one is just coming out and being like, okay, this is what happened. End of story. Make your own decision. Um, I'm trying to do that, but I even can't. Like, I can tell you what happened. Uh, Biden got a bunch of people killed. That is an irrefutable fact. Now, make your own decision. Either hate Biden for it or be like, well, at least there's no more mean tweets. And see, that's why I can't be impartial because I made that comment. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they have something about Selena Gomez. Rocks red lips. That is an actual fucking story. I don't even know who that person is, and I don't care what color her lips are. It just, yeah, again, we're we're getting two entirely different points of the world, and that's why we're so far apart, is because, you know, we all cling to our beliefs, and, I mean, belief are far more dangerous than truth. And it's just, it's a sad state and I I'm, I'm done. I I don't fucking care anymore. I am I'm done trying to sure coat or anything. I think you're retarded. You're still buying the covid. But people are dying. Dash. <laughs> yeah, they die from heart disease and car accidents. I I don't care anymore. I'm sorry, I don't I, I almost don't even care about the Afghanistan thing anymore because all the Republicans are going to do is bitch about it. What are you actually going to do about the clusterfuck that this organization, this administration put together? Nothing? Yeah, because you don't do anything about anything. Oh, it's disgusting. All right, hey, next week I will try and find something fun. I got nothing, but I'll try. Okay. If you guys have ideas, send them to me. Social media is at the top. Follow, like, subscribe. New guys, new people have been liking on Facebook. I don't know if they listen or they just like randomly found it and clicked yay. But good for them. And I'm going to try and, you know, post more on like social media so we can get the name out there. Uh, but I'm, I'm burned out.
Yeah, I'll try and keep up, but I, I can't make any promises until we get some new games and we get some new shit happening besides fucking COVID. Because I do not care anymore. I think you're all idiots. The vaxxers, the anti-vaxxers, you're all morons. Just do whatever you want. Like, quit fucking worrying about other people. Worry about yourself. Uh, one more thing. So we were talking about this. Uh, where I live, I live in a smaller town outside of Denver. Okay, I don't actually live in Denver anymore. I know. Wow, wow. Still Dutch in Denver. Maybe we record in Denver. You don't know. I probably go to this studio every night. Uh, but there's some idiot who drives around in a pickup truck with a, a flag that says, fuck Biden. While I may share that sentiment, I said may. I do not think that person should do that. A, that's just fucking stupid. B, my political beliefs and yours are none of your fucking business and none of mine. Keep that shit to yourself. It's like, and I mean, you don't need to. You got kids in the car and be like, hey, mom, that says fuck Biden. What does that mean? Come on, you don't need. I know it's freedom of speech. And I'm that biggest advocate. I'm just saying that guy's a moron. And he's the one that gives us a bad name. It's even, and you'll, mm, you may not hear this from anybody, but. Listen here. The black American flag with the blue line or the red line. I don't know what the red sports. Maybe somebody first responders. But the blue to back the cops, I do not agree with. Our flag is red, white, and blue. 13 stripes that are red, white, and blue. 50 white stars on a field of blue. That's our flag. Do not change it. I don't care what you support. Do not change our flag. That is not our flag. And you cannot take the United States of America flag and bend it to what you want it to be. You would be super pissed if the pride morons made it a rainbow flag. You do not get to change that flag. It represents a country as a whole. It represents the people who love it and the people who hate it. It represents everyone in this country, not your little back to blue, which, again, I do back to blue. I, I'm on board, but I do not want you to change that flag. And I think it's disrespectful that you would black it out and put a thin blue line or a thin red line. So get that shit off your truck. Get that crap out of your little prerogative nonsense and just fly the stars and stripes. Get your stupid pride flag out of there, too. Flags are for countries. Do a little research about why countries have flags. Why that started. And then talk to me about how you want to kneel during it. Do your research on why we sing the national anthem at sporting events. All that shit. And then explain to me your kneeling and that crap. Explain your thin blue line. Because, again, I back the blue. I wear a shirt that says that. I am not wearing that fucking flag. And I would never fly one of those. And it's disrespectful for you to manipulate the flag of the United States of America, the greatest country in the world, to suit your own crusade. Even if you're on my side. Fuck. God, you just give me a headache. But yeah, <laughs> on a lighter sense, you know, like, subscribe, do all that stuff. Help me to help you. You like and subscribe. I can keep producing this stuff. Even if you hate it, just click like. It doesn't matter. Your friends won't know. Uh, follow the social media stuff. Do all the fun stuff that helps me help you. You know, we'll get along just fine. And even if we don't, you can hate listen. I hope you hate listen. I'm still looking for my liberal. Oh, I had a shot at one night, but it just didn't happen. And uh, uh, we were so close. Like, I was excited, but I knew it would never happen. See, I'm watching the scrolling, and it's just even worse. All right, I got to get out of here. It's late. I had to make some phone calls. 
check some shameful porn, stuff like that. Do my thing. You do your thing. Until next time, guys, I will catch you. As always, it's been a pleasure. Bye.